live with the PGP Big Bet Draft Special. This is the first, Jesse. I Generally, we usually put this stuff out uh, right there on the Facebook, uh, text type only, a couple of still shots, but uh, trying something a little different this time, man. Yeah, we're doing something a little different. The Riverton Party sp- Store, Jeb Brown, has given us this beautiful location in the back of the f- Riverton Party Store where he does a lot of his concerts. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I have to learn how to talk into this thing. Um, but, yeah, we want to do something a little different, talk about a show a little different, and introduce it a little different. You know, we've not seen anybody really kind of do something like this, and we wanted to really give something different to the fans. And with that in mind, on June 3rd, June Lawford 3rd. Theater. Lawford Theater. Havana, Illinois. Havana, Illinois. With a 7 p.m. bell time, you're going to find the big bet. Five huge matches, and I don't know if we're getting behind us here, a huge prize on the line that night put up between myself and Jesse. This is a gentleman's bet, best of five. Whoever wins it takes home this delicious two cases of Paps Blue Ribbon. Two cases, not just one, two cases. You see that? That's two fingers for two cases, two cases of Paps Blue Ribbon. I want you to zoom in a little bit here, cameraman. I'm not going to take the koozie off because we're not plugging this beer, even though it's delicious. You can care, kill werewolves with it. Um, he has switched to light beer because normally Brady drinks Pabst Blue Ribbon. So I want, if he wins or I win, I want it to be extra sweet because we've only been able to drink light beer. Well, I tell you what. I got offered free white, free uh, light beer out of the fridge here at the back of the River and Party store. And you know me, Jesse. I'm a bargain shopper as well as a beer drinker. I couldn't pass that deal up. So that's cool. A little silver light beer for me tonight. That'll get me right through this draft special until I win this delicious cold case of Pabst June 3rd at the Lawford. But meanwhile, look. It wouldn't be PGP with only five matches on a card. So not let's wait five. a second. Nope, let's not just wait five. a second. We're not doing just let's five matches. Let's wait a second till we get to the big bet, best of five. And, and let's look at the rest of the card that night, Jess. I mean, we've got a main event. And, you know, I've said this before. A lot of places say they offer you history-making matches in independent wrestling. I always say when we say at PGP you're getting a history-making moment, it's not a bullshit moment. It's real deal history. Now, main event of the big bet is not a big bet match, but it is the final match in PGP of the money Matt Cage. He has wanted to win the PGP franchise title since we opened the doors here. He originally showed up here as a tag team competitor, but don't think he didn't have his sights set on individual accolades back then. And to this day, that prize has eluded him. He gets his chance. June 3rd against the leader of the pack, Stephen Wolf. All the marbles on the line. Jesse, are we going to have a one-and-done champion, or is Stephen Wolf going to continue on the role of a damn lifetime? This might be the toughest match we have ever had to call a winner for in PGP. I mean, you do not know who's coming out of this match. You got Matt Cage, who's got an opportunity to win one of the only, you know, independent Midwest titles he's never won. I mean, this is a belt that he's a belt collector. And when a belt collector goes out, he wants to have them all, right? He wants to have them all on his mantle, Brady. Every single one of them up there. This is that moment for him. Then again, you got Stephen Wolf, maybe the top prospect coming out of the Midwest, the guy everybody's talking about. It's kind of a sensation. Is he is he going to be a quick champion? There's a lot of history between those two. Mentor student type history there. Did the did the did the teacher save a little back? Did he save a little back? We're going to find out June third. The big bet. Matt Cage, Stephen Wolf. Last time you're ever going to see it. Last time you're ever going to see Matt Cage in PGP. And the last time you see him might be the biggest time you see him. He could leave here with the franchise title. Now, what that does to us, I don't know. Um, honestly, I'm sort of rooting for Stephen Wolf in this because I don't need the chaos of a champion 
instantly retiring, Jesse. But he's got the chance to make that happen. I, I History's going to be made one way or the other. Either we have an absolute blow-up of the proving ground or we see Matt Cage's final match in one of the best absolute main events you could get on the independent circuit. Either way, the fans, as we always say, are the winner. I don't know if PGP will be the winner at the end of the night. I guess we'll find out. It's going to be monumental. I don't know how any other way to describe it. I mean, this is a match that is the be and all of independent professional wrestling. If you want to pay your money to see a main event, this is the one you should pay your money to see. And this main event is for a title, but it's not the only title on the line that night, Jesse. Nope. We, we have a cutting PGP. edge title. Yep, we wouldn't be PGP if we didn't get you another another title match. So S- Jason Roberts. Submission expert. Submission expert. Is Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He is healed up. He's got doctor's clearance. The elbow is working good. The physical therapy went well. He's been resting, relaxing, and tanning up in Florida. He's and ready that, to defend that belt. Well, that's right. I think PGP has got us. Well, his back's to the wall, Brady. If you don't (laughs) defend after this amount of time, what happens to you? Usually you get stripped. But in PGP, we we have enough problems with with guys losing titles out of the ring. So, in this case, his his penance will be paid by facing perhaps the single most dangerous competitor in the proving ground this, right this now. W- this was a tough decision to to make this man the number one contender for the cutting edge title, but it was hard to deny when the facts got put on the table. It was hard to deny him the opportunity. He's the first ever cutting edge champion, first ever Buckley Cup winner, former franchise champion. All these accolades had a hell of a showing in this year's Buckley Cup. Former I'm tag team champion. Former tag team champion. I mean, he's won, won and done it all. We call him the Grand Slam champion of the uh, Proving Ground, actually. But he had a huge, huge victory over Shane Mercer, and you can't d- dispute that on paper. Nope. So, Bad Wolf, Blake Edward Bellicus, has a chance to regain the first belt he ever won in the Proving Ground. Now, this isn't like versus Shane Mercer where anything goes, so he cannot just – use the golden spike with no repercussions in this match however i would warn jason roberts that blake bellicus always has that spike close at hand and he is a savvy veteran so allowed or not i wouldn't rule that out of the equation an absolute just dangerous individual walking around with a golden spike being as psychotic as ever and Jason Roberts is going to have to use that submission game to keep him away, I feel like, from that spike because he's going to use it at any opportunity. If the referee is not paying attention, Blake Belkus knows how to weave his way in and out of the rules and proving ground. He's proven it time and time again. We ran through the resume. I don't think that Jason uh, Roberts' title has ever been in more jeopardy, and a golden belt may well be joining the golden spike in Blake Belkus's new uh, – what, what would you call that? His his, his infatuation. I don't know. Friendship. Man. I don't know. I just know this: he is collecting anything that's golden at this point, and he has his eye on Jason Roberts' cutting edge title. I mean, this is a title, to, the first time ever title defense. The first time you're going to defend your belt, and you're going to give you the toughest task we can give you. So that alone, normally that would be like... That's enough to pay for the ticket. That's, uh, like we say, yeah, that match in and of itself, that covers your lofty $12. Hey, you know what? There's even $10 advanced tickets. If you can get out to Grandpa's Diner or message us on our Facebook Messenger, $10 for adults and $5 kids advance. I don't know how you could beat that. And every match we talk about is worth that price in and of itself. You can't beat that price. You cannot top the price of those tickets. You just can't. Price I mean, to quality ratio, there is nothing we're taking better care on of the, independent We're taking wrestling. care of dad because you don't have to spend too much money. We're taking care of mom because dad can take the kids and get them out of your hair. Or you can just have a fun family entertainment and so the kids are screaming and they're happy. And we're taking care of the kids because PGP loves the kids. We Absolutely. Now, That's why we're priced. Jesse, way. 
when international stars on the independent circuit travel across the pond, so to speak, you never know where they might land, but they're always looking for a place they've heard of. Now, you would think a uh, far-off spot like New Zealand, hell, that, what is that, the kissing cousin of Australia? For God's sakes, that's practically to the South Pole. And you've got somebody coming in from New Zealand. Yeah, South Pole, definitely. Yeah. Holy. New Zealand, I hear there's nothing poisonous there. That would be fantastic. I, I do they have mosquitoes? I'm on. We can ask. Well, we can ask the next guy on the card well, as soon as he gets here. Who would that be? That's M- Michael Richards. He's he's back from New Zealand, a tour in the U.S. once again, once and he again. is going to stop in the proving ground. He's well, I tell stop. you what, he, he hit us up. He messaged us. He kept in contact with us. He said, "When I come to the states, the place I hear I got to." pun intended, prove myself, is the proving ground, and we wanted to make it happen. So that's exactly what we did. And Michael Richards is going to be coming in, and he is going to face the savvy, unhappy, never quite satisfied veteran out of St. Louis, SB Brandon Espinosa. That's right. Brandon Espinosa is always looking for his big opportunity. He's looking for his big chance. He wants to show everyone – why everyone should have been talking about him and why he should have got all the big breaks for the last 10 years. Am I right? You are absolutely right. So this he wanted a guy that people are talking about. This is a guy that's that, that Ring of Honor is looking at. This is a guy that's working Zero One USA. This is a guy that's working all these other independents all across the country, just, just did Florida, has a WWE tryout just after our show. Well, SB certainly got his work cut out for him, and – I tell you what, though, the resume of Brandon Espinosa, Michael Richards um, is definitely not getting a night off in the Proving Ground. In fact, no. he may wa- be walking into an incredibly motivated buzzsaw that night because Espinosa absolutely feels like he's been slighted in the Proving Ground since its inception, well, and it, I believe he's out to prove that fact. It's, it's the perfect storm for the fans. Brandon Espinoza has his chance to prove himself and the big opportunity that he wants, and so does Michael Richards. So there's no better way to do this than to put them together. Absolutely. I don't know if this quite makes it to the level of Indie Dream Match, but in my world, in my little limited planet of independent wrestling, this is a dream match, buddy. These are two absolute technicians getting to face each other for the very first time, and I'll be damned if it isn't in the proving ground. And again, that match alone, that's a $10 match right there, people. And first I'm time not ever. smoke. First time ever. Maybe the only time ever. This is a guy who is an international star. And when we say that, we do, we're not joking with you. We're not making this up. He's from New Zealand. He's not going to be here all the time. This is your only chance maybe to see him definitely in the Havana area. Most certainly. This is absolutely a gift to the fans of the Proving Ground. This is no gift to Brandon Espinosa, I'll guarantee you that, other than the opportunity, the gift of a very valuable opportunity. That's what this is for Brandon Espinosa, and it's going to be one hell of a match. Definitely. And now, when you want to talk about one hell of a match, no, I want to talk. I'm skipping you. I see your little paper I, I, right here. I, I'm I skipping see what you're up. talking about. I want to talk about C.J. Shine. Stepping up. You get, you see that pinky in the air, Jesse. Wanting to prove to everyone, including Barakas. Whoa, whoa, Barakas. He's nowhere in the building, is he? No. i got to get that you pinky out. You think I'm just going to drop his name like that and he's in the building with us? I am not us? putting my Are you pinky insane? in the air if Barakas can actually see me. What if he's watching this? On tape? On tape. Like, this is getting, this is the internet. Oh, this is going. I Jim, this the, is going Jim, out on I the internet. That correct. Pinky edited out of any of this footage. Edit this pinky. Just in edit case. Edit this pinky. See, I just got your back there. See, thanks, Jesse. It's not, You're not all, all about bad. the cases of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Well, as I've always I said, this care. is one of the few gentlemen bets in all of professional gentlemen. wrestling. Now back to what we were saying. Baracus, Baracus, and versus CJ, CJ Shine. Shine. One more time. CJ Shine says that it was not a fluke. It's not a fluke that at the Buckley Cup, he earned himself a future shot at the title. The champ's been a little busy. 
We've had a couple busy title defenses here for Stephen Wolf. Some first time ever, some never agains. Hey. But CJ Shine last month, he took a beat down from Baracus, and he's not going to let that stand, Brady Lawrence. He came directly to me. That's right. He didn't call me. He didn't text me. He didn't email me. He drove up in the pinky wagon, came to my door, shook my kid like a rag doll, told him to throw his pinky up in the air. He did. Did he, did he, did he drink a cup of tea with the pinky extended? He doesn't drink tea. That would show a sign of culture, though. We're getting off track here. We're we getting are. off subject. We're getting off subject. Anyway, what I meant to say is he shows up at my house. Shows up at my house and demands this match. I think he's serious. I'm mean, he's serious. Demanded. Demanded this match. He's insane. He's insane because this is a wrecking machine. This is the new age King Kong Bundy. This is Bundy and Abdul of the Butcher having some kind of hell baby. He it is the Brady. power of Barakas. He's not insane like Barakas, like Bellicus. Not that kind of insane talking to a spike and such. He's nuts. Who wants to fight a man who's 350 pounds? I don't know what his bench press is because I don't like to get close enough to him, okay? If I feel Baracus' hot breath near me, I just walk away. I know I'm supposed to be the promoter guy and the booker man or whatever the hell kind of total title I get, you know? I don't know. I'll look in the boardroom and see what my title is this week. It could be, I only text could be janitor. I but limit my communication to text. He is a scary, scary man. Sometimes I, I, he's on the car. I saw him on the other side I'm of the room and texted him. I'm afraid to tell him he can't come there and hurt people. No, you can't come here and hurt people. He's going to come here and hurt people. Yeah. I, I'm, I am it fearful It doesn't matter. You can tell Baracus, I don't come here and hurt people. I'm fearful for C.J. Shine. He has his sights absolutely set on C.J. Shine. He is absolutely nonplussed about C.J. and his shot at the champ, a future shot like you cleared up. We we told the winner, we don't know when you're getting the shot, but you are going to get it. And Baracus, he didn't like it then, he doesn't like it now, and he absolutely bushwhacked C.J. Shine in he our last like event. He feels like the only reason he lost that match because there was three participants. He could have took C.J. Shine by himself. He could have took Brandon Espinoza by himself. But no, because it's Baracus and he's a monster, we put two guys in there with him. And he feels like he was slighted. He feels like he was cheated because he can take anybody. Well, he's certainly unhappy, but, again, the only time I've seen him smile is when he's inflicting punishment on an opponent. So, Baracus and Shine, that is the most heated feud in the Proving Ground right now, and we get another chapter at the Big Bet. And, Jesse, that leaves us with one other thing on our docket before we get to the Big Bet. We're, gonna, we're getting to the main event. Here comes the buildup, folks. We're getting there. It's a slow climb. It's the way wrestling works. That's how, it, that's how it works. So, anyway, we have former tag team champions. Former and these guys champs. were on the roll of a lifetime. They defeated a who's who of independent tag team stars during their time as our champs. And I'm talking about the alpha class, Danny Adams and Paco Gonzalez. Now, they've had a couple of extremely tough losses. They've fallen down in the rankings. They have lost their belts, and I don't know what they've got in mind, but they have contacted us. They will be appearing at the Big Bet. We do not have them scheduled for anything. They have a special announcement they will be revealing at the Big Bet. We do not know what it is, Jesse. It's been speculation. I am eager to hear what they have to say. I, I absolutely am eager to hear what they have to say. There's been speculation. I know what I'm, I'm worried they might rumors say. In the mill, that, that I'll leave that to up to everybody else. But all I can say is they had probably one of the best runs we have ever seen somebody have with that tag team gold or any gold, for that matter, any gold in proving ground pro history. One of the quickest climbs and one of the farthest falls. This announcement could go either way, but I tell you what, personally, my feeling on this. 
I get that little sick feeling in the pit of my stomach that this is bad news. Now, I don't know. They haven't told Jesse, and they haven't told me. No, I, can I don't. I only tell you I, from what I've observed from the broadcast booth and a lack this of is communication, a shoot. Jesse, this is a shoot. has me a little worried. This is a shoot. We have no idea what their announcement's going to be. They contacted us legit. They were not booked. They did, were not set to appear on this show. They know that this may be the last time we're ever in the Lawford Theater. They wanted to be there. They said they had a huge announcement. They had an announcement they wanted to let all the PGP fans in on, including us. So we find out, just like you guys do, on June 3rd at the Big Bet, what's it going to be, Alpha Class? Are you gonna, are you going to tell us that you're you're going to you're going to go right after those tag team titles that Mario and Alves aren't safe? Is it? I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Let's, let's I don't know how many it. possibilities there really are, Jesse. But uh, all we can tell you is you got to be there to find out. And that it, literally learn again. This isn't even a match, but I would pay ten bucks. Just to learn the answer to that question. I'd pay at least $5 to, an, to, to get the answer to that question. And our, you already gave me four matches that were worth the other $5. So my money's taken. There you go. And now we get to the big bet. Yeah, you better take that because I know it's on the other side. Mm-hmm.